moment has arrived. Ten years in the waiting. Oh my God. My oldest kids haven't even seen this thing or sat in it since they were barely above the doors. Take a look. <laughs> the beast. The beast is going to come out today. We had all our helpful helper, helpers and we uh, moved a lot of air conditioners over. We think we have a big enough pathway. We think. We don't know. If that guy can get his big enough butt out of the way, we can get this car out. <laughs> yes. 1935 Mercedes Benz. Hey, baby. With some old <laughs> tag on it. <laughs> yeah. Poor white trash has never seen the likes of a car like this. <laughs> I just have. You should have. You should have seen people when I drove through neighborhoods like yours driving this car. The way they looked at me, they never imagined I had the same job as them, garbage picker. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what the doors are what, what they're for? Huh? You know what those doors are for? Hey, chick catchers, man. No. You drive down the road, get close to the sidewalk, you see a nice ass. No. <laughs> They're called suicide doors. Get the picture? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoop a right in, drive on the whip. Alrighty. Those are real spoked wheels, not hubcaps. I started this thing two years ago for a video to show everybody. It's got the Mustang 289, 1968, 10 to 1 horsepower. I mean, 10 to 1 compression ratio, I think. And I made this thing way back when I was 23 years young. Gee. I went from a go-kart at age 16, then a motorized skateboard, and then this massive beast. And it's fast and it sounds good. We'll have to do another cold start today. Ford 302? No, it's the same block as a 302, but it's a 289. Oh, yeah. Yep. Sweet. So, we got her sort of jammed in this spot, so what we got to do is put a jack under the differential lift up the back wheels and we got all these bodies here and start pushing it sideways to get it out. No, from the rear. That's what he said. I mean valley bag. <laughs> that's what that's what Joey Mint said. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from the rear. And we're only using a jack just because it matches the car. <laughs> Nineteen seventy four, gee, that's the frame I used part of on that car. Nineteen seventy four full size Mercury Grand Marquise. Look at the way Rick expertly just jacks that. Oh wait. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 